Hey everybody, it's me, Trucker Chad. It's been a while since I've done a video. I've been a little busy lately, and uh, but things are going pretty good for me. I'm still hauling crude oil in the beautiful deserts of uh, southeastern New Mexico and west Texas. Um, the oil business is starting to boom again, and so things are looking good. Um, a little update, uh, I've been with this company now for about six months, and um, I guess I've done a good enough job where they've uh, asked me to become a trainer. I was a trainer with Pam, and uh, so some of that experience, I guess, can tr transition over into this gig. Uh, so now I'm a trainer, which is kind of awesome because I get paid a flat amount of money every day. Uh, it's less hours worked. I basically make my average, and um, most of the hard work is done by the trainees. So it's pretty cool. Um, had to do a little studying up on the uh, procedures and policies though, so haven't done any videos, but I got a whole bunch of great ideas from my buddy Derek at Driver Solutions, and I'm going to start knocking out some of these things, because I miss you guys. I miss the interaction. So uh, I still get lots of great messages and questions from people that have seen some of my previous videos, so keep sending me uh, your questions on Facebook Messenger. It's Chad, C-H-A-D, Chamont, C-H-A-U-M-O-N-T. And I'm always happy to talk to people. Uh, some questions I get are kind of general, like, tell me everything about trucking. Um, so here's what I'd rather you do, is I'd rather you do your research on the industry and write down specific questions you have. Like, what is a way station for? And what, is, what do I have to do when it comes to that? Or, um, you know, how can I save money? And, and how, how expensive it is to live on the road? Write down specific questions. Um, if you want to talk to me, I may, I'm able to talk to people, but sometimes uh, this younger generation likes to text message a lot. I'm not a big text messenger, so specific questions I'm more than happy to elaborate on, but uh, that's probably the best thing to do. So, uh, this video I want to talk about how you can save money um, on the road. And one of the biggest ways I'd save money, and I still continue to do that now, is uh, by making my own food. When I was over the road, I had a microwave in my truck, I had a little, um, it's a, they call it a stove, it's a little, looks like a metal bowl you plug into the cigarette lighter and that can slowly warm food up. I had a toaster oven, I had a refrigerator, so I would go to Walmart like once a week or so and buy some uh, supplies. I would make things that I could eat out of the microwave or make in my little stove or I could, uh, you know, I would make sandwiches using my toaster. Um, there's lots of really useful things that you can use out there uh, to uh, save money. Because eating at truck stops every day, even if you're only eating two meals a day, it's expensive. And um, it can definitely um, eat into your budget. And when we, when we first start, and I've said this before, we're not going to make a bunch of money those first few months. So you definitely want to uh, develop some strategies to save so you're not spending all your money at the truck stop. Eating out once or twice a week is fine, but um, develop a plan, things you can buy to uh, help you save money. Um, I've even seen drivers with little mini uh, barbecue grills. Uh, this one gentleman I saw one time, he had one that ran on propane, and um, he would grill out next to his truck. They also have uh, little hot plates that you can buy. I never bought one of those, but. It's a hot plate with a single burner. You can make uh, food uh, either in a pot or a pan. You can make your own eggs, stuff like that. Um, a, a, a Coleman uh, thermoelectric refrigerator usually runs for about $100 and will fit in most trucks. You can put food in there to keep it cold and drinks to keep them cold. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, taking some time to prepare a meal for yourself and uh, that definitely will save you money because truck stops can be expensive and even restaurants that are around truck stops they're like satellites they're orbiting the truck stops those restaurants know you're a trucker they know you're for the most part most truckers are making money and like to jack up their prices so um, now even out here in the oil field I'm making really good money now I'm making you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars a day but I still have that save some money mindset so I don't eat out now part of the reason is the nearest restaurants a 25 mile drive uh, there is a little local restaurant that's pretty good but I still cook food we have a kitchen now but I still I go to Walmart once a week and I'll buy groceries and I'm making meals for my lunches um, 
I, I, I buy fruit. I eat a lot of fruit. Um, you know, so you, you don't have to eat out all the time. Uh, you don't have to eat at the truck stops. Uh, you can you can buy things like crock pots, uh, little portable stoves, hot plates, microwaves. A microwave at Walmart that can fit in a truck is around thirty-five dollars usually. So there's lots of neat ways you can save money. Um, you know, another thing that I would do to treat myself is I would save up my points at Flying J at Love's. Whenever you're fueling up, be sure to use that rewards card and that will rack up points. Now some guys like to save up their points to buy toys like remote control cars or you know um, something, a gadget of some sort. I would just save up my points and treat myself to Subway or Carl's Jr. or whatever. Cash them out at the TA and and, and buy yourself a, a, a buffet. Uh, so you make sure you're using that rewards card at Flying J, at the TA, at the Petro, at the Loves, anywhere they offer rewards card, use that rewards card, save those points up and treat yourself to meals with that. Um, you know, because if, if not, you're spending money every day. Uh, when you're in those first three months, it's tough. Um, you want to budget your money and, and spend it wisely. It, I would rather spend a hundred dollars up front on a refrigerator $35 on a microwave. I even had a coffee pot in my truck, a coffee maker that was $8 at Walmart. It was a little mini coffee maker. It was enough to fill up my big mug, and that's how I um, I drank coffee uh, for free every day. And then, um, you know, rewards points for coffee sometimes as well. So um, you could cook on your truck. A lot of people do it, and it's really it's a lot healthier. You can buy fruit to snack on. Um, you can make your own trail mix bags. You know, it, it takes a little bit of imagination. It takes a little bit of work. Um, on If you have a reset day, this is what I do. I make meals for the next two, three, four, five days sometimes. That way I don't have to cook on my 10 hour break. I just got a meal that's already ready. I throw it in the microwave, boom, there's lunch, there's dinner. So, um, you know, there's lots of ways to save money and uh, buying your own food, preparing your own meals, coffee maker, microwave, crock pot, portable stove, hot plates, little barbecue pit. Um, you know, take the time to prepare your own meals and you'll save a lot of money. So anyways, uh, this, again, sorry for the absence. I've been, I've been away from doing videos for a little while. I've been busy. I had to train to become a trainer. So my all time was a little bit busy studying, but I'm back at it, baby. More videos coming. I promise. Message me on Facebook Messenger. I also have a trucker uh, chat page. I'm still kind of learning how to how to deal with that, um, but if you want to talk to me, I'm available to talk. I know getting into the trucking game can be a nerve-wracking experience. Sometimes you're giving up a steady job that's not so great for the promise of a better future with trucking. It is better, I promise you. Um, pick that first company, stay with them for a year, get that experience. All kinds of doors open up for you. I say these things over and over again because they're true, and I'm going to finish this video with one final thought. Keep the attitude positive. A positive attitude uh, just is always better um, way to communicate with people. It, it always rubs off on everybody else. Stay positive. You're going to have trials and tribulations. Stay positive. All right, for Driver Solutions, this is Trucker Chad. More videos to come. I've been away for a little while. I'm sorry, but I'm back, baby. More videos, I promise. Message me on Facebook. I'll holler at y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Be safe out there. And good luck to the new students. Take it easy.